Thank you for that presentation, thank you, Alex. Um, we're going to have a couple of um, what we call lightning talks, which are really, really short, five minutes um, from the vendors outside, so they can actually tell you what they've got. Um, they can also sort of tell you what they've, what they've been working on. And hopefully they'll turn up in a minute now. Ah, it's in. Bye. 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 I'm Rob van der Linden, I'm here from, uh, from Sissico. Um, Sissico is a little company that set up in Nottingham by uh, uh, Miles Hopkinson. Uh, he uh, was one of the tinkerers, as uh, I think most of you are as well. And uh, five years ago or so, he tried to set up uh, a system that you can control various things around his house. He had a diesel generator sitting outside, he bought himself a bunch of um, solar, solar panels, and a lot of controllers, central heating, and various other things. And he found it extremely hard to get it, get it off the ground. And he was using uh, you know, various radio technologies that were out there at the time, and he just couldn't get it done. So he decided, hang on, I can make, build something better myself. Um, and he did, he started tinkering with uh, you know, TI chips. Um, a friend of him helped him basically build some software behind it. And so they built um, very basic radio technology. It's advanced, but it's very easy to use. That's really the key thing. He wanted to build something that his wife could use. And understand. So sending uh, radio messages in our system essentially is as easy as sending a text or a tweet. You know, they're human readable things, 12 characters, very easy. Yet it is encrypted, yes it, yet, yet it is, you know, sort of like properly addressable and everything else. So you get the best of both worlds. Well, uh, he built the company, well he built the stuff and he started using it and then found a lot of people liked it. And so he started selling it online and we've become quite successful with it. So we're here today, um, we've got a range of things uh, with us. Um, a lot of things that we now connect all to Raspberry Pi, because that obviously is a very popular platform that everybody, everybody you know, is, um, is keen on exploiting. So we've got radio units that plug in straight into the into the Raspberry Pi, and you can control them, and, and basically send data through them, uh, through a serial port, by just simply typing at it, or by sending the program, and you take out of it. Um, we've got uh, so that's uh, a slice of radio. We've got um, a uh, highlight, which you'll see there, because I think you need sunglasses when you come to our, our stand. Right, <laughs> which I apologise immediately, but um, so that is basically a little board that you can plug onto your Raspberry Pi, and you can just send it commands, and it will do things like scroll text. Uh, it might show uh, bar graphs. It may, you know, move things around. <coughs> You can see there's various example programs that uh, you can get from our website that just work out of the box. Um, and again, you know, the key thing is easy to use, plug it in, uh, get the software completed and get going. Um, and then we've got uh, a bunch of other uh, little extra add-on boards that if you want to do some experimentation, you can do that. And the key thing that we've just recently come out with is Raspberry, which is the wireless inventors kit for the Raspberry Pi. <coughs> So what that is, is a radio unit that you plug into your Raspberry Pi, and another unit which is basically an Arduino-based board with a radio on it as well. <coughs> and you get a nice little program to run on your PC, or sorry, on your Raspberry Pi, so you can essentially control that remote Arduino with it. Switch lights on and off, you know, read things in and out, the read temperature. <coughs> um, there's a bunch of projects there. Some of the 17 or so are hardware project projects you can just play around with. And then there are 10 projects which basically take you through the software that we, you know, we bundle with it. it explains how it all works to the point where you can actually take temperature readings and send them up to the cloud, put them on the side link, and read the temperature graph in your house from pretty much anywhere. Right, so it gets quite sophisticated, but it's still very easy to use. We believe anybody, everybody in this room definitely will be able to do it. Um, you know, various journalists are playing with it at the moment. Um, I don't know if anybody reads Custom DC. Uh, Gareth Harvey Akri basically wrote in there that he thought this was the simplest introduction to wireless uh, uh, technology that he could he come across. So you know, if he can do it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But if, you know, if, if, if journalists can do it, you can do it, I'm sure. Um, but we, we think that um, it's particularly uh, useful for school children to get into 
this whole thing as well. So it's a lot of fibers into the schools. Hopefully these kids will go there as well. So uh, yeah, I'll stop talking. If there's any questions, you can ask them now or you can you can come to the stand and have a look. with the Raspberry Pi. Syntec's a friend of Pi, as you may have seen on the Foundation's website. And we started off life about six or seven years ago selling electromechanical components from all over the world, from some uh, world-class suppliers. Uh, everything from connectors, cable assemblies, plastic boxes, power supplies. And believe me, it's uh, not the most exciting world uh, to work with it. So when the Raspberry Pi came out, we thought, okay, how can we apply what we know and what we do uh, to the Raspberry Pi. And the most obvious one for us at the time was the, the case. Now, uh, a lot of people say that our case, which hopefully you've all seen in the wall vault, is the best case for the Raspberry Pi. A few reasons why. One of the first people to bring the LED light via the light pipe up to the surface. A GPIO exit. SD card cover, if you, if you need that type of thing, because somebody's always nicking your SD card to go in the, into your camera. Um, and generally the fit and the lack of rattle um, was one of those things that people thought, okay, the case is very, very good. And hopefully you agree. We came out originally with a Raspberry Pi color one, you know, the pink. And we've grown that since to black, white, green, uh, blue, uh, and Anyway, they're all outside for you to, to have a good look. The Raspberry Pi world was quite exciting compared to our electromechanical world, so we thought, oh, let's, let's keep going with this. This is quite interesting. And we started reselling our stuff online. And so we to CPC Farnell, um, <coughs> guys in the States like Canakit and MCM Electronics. And we also sold stuff to people like Table Fruit as well. One of the next products that we brought out was this nice little GPIO breakout board, which Alex kindly uh, interrogated on his on his site. I've got a few sales from that, so thank you for Alex. It gives you all the all of the pin output information here. Little paddle board, you stick a wire in the top, nice and easy, low cost uh, little breakout. <coughs> We've done things like plagiarism. So there's our version of the Adafruit cobbler. Ours is red, ours is blue. Ours is slightly easier to play with because you don't have to twist the cable when you bring it out to the out to the GPIO. So we think ours is better. <laughs> During the time that we um, were developing these other little things, um, we sold a few things to a company called Pimeroni. I don't know if anybody's heard of Pimeroni, but they're a very small company up in Sheffield. Um, <laughs> So we had a chat with Primeroni and sold them some more stuff, and then we said, oh, we've got this really good idea for our prop for the, uh, for the Raspberry Pi. And uh, we were lucky enough at the time to have Evan Upton in our offices, and we bounced the idea off of him, and we thought, well, that's a good idea, we should go and do that. And obviously, Paul and John at uh, Primeroni saw pound size and thought, well, we will talk <coughs> ourselves with you guys and come up with that little sign outside that says Primeroni versus Sintec. So together, we developed the Raspberry Pi Hub. This is a little bit more than just a hub to us. This is made in the UK product. Now, Primeroni and ourselves invested in service mags and through hole equipment. It's all in their premises in Primeroni. So we are now a true manufacturer 
of UK-based product for the Raspberry Pi. And for me, I think that's what it is. So, not the cheapest hub in the world. But always remember, it's supporting UK jobs, it's supporting the foundation, because 10% goes back to the foundation. But it gives you a hell of a lot more than other hubs there. It's the only hub ever tested by the foundation and endorsed by the foundation. And trust me, we went through more than one iteration with those guys. Half an amp coming out of each port, and you've got a special port down at 7 o'clock, which gives you 1.1 amp uh, for your pipe. It's got a little designation on the back that shows a little pie on the back. All four ports will support a pipe, and Alex again proved that on his blog, where he had four pies coming out of the hub. So, the product for us is the ultimate hub, and that's our latest and greatest product that we've developed with Pimeroni. Our aim for the future, just to wrap up, is to support the education market as much as we can um, with activities. We've already got a product that will come out in the next uh, two or three weeks, which is called Piebrella. Umbrella, Piebrella, protects the pie. Uh, does a lot of inputs, does a lot of outputs, uh, gives you various voltages that you can uh, drive motors with. So the ultimate thing is, therefore, just to build it as an activity-based uh, uh, product, right from LEDs, you know, traffic lights, right up to walking robots and, uh, and all sorts of different things like that. So keep your eye out for that. And uh, if you need, need to have a chat later, or you'd like to park with some cash, we're just outside. Yeah, that's <laughs> Thank you very much.